What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Samsung Galaxy S23 and Samsung Galaxy S23 FE to see that which device is going to be better in terms of benchmarking test score results and how much difference we are going to get exactly. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So these are the benchmarking applications we got here on our Samsung Galaxy S23 and S23 FE. So first of all, let's start with Android 2 benchmark. So the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, it has scored 1.261323 million and the S23 has scored 1.553617 points. So as you can see, the winner is Samsung Galaxy S23. If you go to the individual test score results, here you can compare the result of CPU, GPU, memory and UX and as you can see in all of these four performance of Samsung Galaxy S23 is better compared to Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. The difference is not too much when it comes to CPU as well as the UX but the primary difference we are getting in terms of GPU. So the gaming performance of S23 is going to be better compared to the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE but considering the fact that the S23 FE comes with Exynos 2200 the performance is still pretty impressive as the difference we are getting is not too much in terms of benchmarking test score results. If you go back from here and have a look on the 3D mark. So here we are going to compare the test score result of Wildlife Extreme and Solar Bay because on Wildlife the Samsung Galaxy S23 maxed out. So if we are talking about the Wildlife Extreme then Samsung Galaxy S23 scored 3870 and Samsung Galaxy S23 FE scored 2292. In terms of FPS generated, S23 scored 23 FPS and the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE scored 13 FPS. So of course the GPU performance of S23 is better compared to S23 FE. If we go to the solar pay, so once again the winner is S23 as it is scored 5554 and average FPS is 21 while S23 FE is scored 4595 as overall score and the average FPS is 17. So once again the winner is S23 in 3D mark as well and it gives the clear idea that the GPU performance of S23 is going to be better compared to S23 FE. Now if you go to the Geekbench 6, so here you can compare the score of single core and multi core in the CPU test. So the S23 FE scored 1620 in single core and 4036 in multi core while S23 scored 2065 in single core and 5433 in multi core. So once again S23 is scoring more points in the CPU test. If you go to the GPU test, here Samsung Galaxy S23 FE scored 8629 and S23 scored 9402. So once again in GPU as well performance of S23 is better but not too much. But still the overall winner is S23 as it is the winner in Android Benchmark, Geekbench 6 as well as in 3D Mark. But surprisingly the performance of Samsung Galaxy S23 FE with the Exynos 2200 is way better than I expected and it is scoring more points compared to the Exynos 2200 we got on the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. So of course the S23 FE is not going to be as good as the latest generation of Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that we got on S23 series but if you are comparing it with S22 series then the Exynos 2200 is performing better compared to how it was last year. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.